Good morning guys, Sean Evans here at Lift Hills and Thrills on the opening day of SeaWorld Abu Dhabi. There isn't many theme park channels out there that have come to a theme park on the day of its official grand opening. Except this one of course, and it's so damn hot. You've got a gorgeous intermin coaster testing outside. I can't wait. It's the only SeaWorld park outside of the United States of America. It's open today officially to the public and I'm hella excited. Let's go in, check it out, show you around this brand new theme park here in Abu Dhabi and the largest aquarium in the world. Oh, cool. Air conditioning. <laughs> Ooh. That's an entrance. Damn. What color is the ocean, Jim? Pink. Pink or green if you peed in it. Oh. All right, we've got like a little carpet area. How big is this building? It's huge. It's endless. Wow. We haven't even started yet. I haven't even, seen, like haven't even seen water yet. Like proper like. All right, welcome to the, the main entrance. As soon as you come in after scanning your ticket. Got a little starfish pond here. It's clinging on at the side there. This reminds me a little bit of sea life when you come in and you can touch the starfish and stuff. It's just on a bigger, bigger, bigger scale. Just a little bit bigger. Just a little bit bigger. We're going towards the theater. We've got a lovely little tank here. Entrance. I guess they put on little shows and stuff, diving shows and what have you. One of many tanks will be seen today. <laughs> it's a bit big, Jim. This is just the reception. <laughs> they weren't lying about world's largest, let's put it, put it that way. This, this is trippy. A <laughs> tunnel is so trippy. I do love me a moving ceiling. <laughs> 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 wow. Have we just stepped into the future? Multipass? <laughs> I'm lost already. Micro, into the micro ocean we go where well, it looks as though we're being shrunk down to the size of a very 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 small ocean creature okay i can see a couple of flat rides but i can see some coaster track there we got a little roller coaster tucked away there we got a little timber tugboat style ride there octo zoom Nice little track, looking fresh. Fresh and well themed, might I add. Over here on the right, you've got Turtle Twist. Another little flat ride. Once again, incredibly well themed. And this track above is called Eel Racer. And right behind it is Jelly Plunge, which looks like an SPF, rethemed. Heavily themed. <laughs> it's insane, isn't it? Right, we're gonna go on Eel Racer, I think. The first roller coaster you're gonna ever do in Abu Dhabi. <laughs> this is the small one. Wow, dude. This is cool. What on earth? <laughs> Kids play area up there as well. It's coming round.
He'll race it. There we go. Two lap special. Wow. <laughs> Theming, man. Right, so eel racer, very smooth. It Two laps special. Two laps special. Operations at Abu Dhabi operations to the point where if you have a postage stamp in your pocket, they'll know about it and tell you to empty everything. So it makes operations very slow. There was only six people on that first train and it was about a five minute dispatch. Yeah. Yeah. No <laughs> I gotta got stop. <laughs> Look at this. <laughs> hey, buddy. Oh, yeah. High five. <laughs> the plankton zone and then we've got all the, the kids play area stuff up there as well we've been shrunk down to plankton size are you stepping out oh yeah interactive floor Photo, photo ops and games everywhere. Tap and hold your CID. So obviously we haven't got one of them. A little drop tower going off there. It's places like this that deserve support though. Just a, a multi-million pound project as part of a billion pound project in terms of mural destinations. An insane, an insanely themed immersive space. And we haven't even seen the tanks yet, other than the little fish tanks. We haven't seen the big tanks, the big, big tanks. Right, um, endless ocean, wherever this goes to. I will say they should hand out paper maps because we just tried the QR code for the map and it wasn't working. And you've got no signal, so you've got, we've got basically no part map. Uh, it's well signposted to a degree, but a part map would help out immensely. Ooh, I guess they would. Well, cute. <laughs> Little shot. <laughs> oh, yeah, I didn't even see that guy. He's cleaning something. We've just stepped onto a spaceship of some kind. That is a very, <laughs> very big window. <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> RS pilot fish. It's that big that we're losing fish because they just <laughs> some of them just disappeared down there and I haven't seen them since. So you got a little dome where you can actually crawl into the ship there and have a look at um, you know vantage points and stuff like that. Oh, you got a little pilot chair, <laughs> so you can go sit down and and chill out. Not sure, perhaps we might be still doing work on it or something. Then you got all the the little viewing panels there. And that looks like, I don't know, like an escalator or some steps or something that take you actually into the tank itself. What are you doing, man? I don't know. You're controlling the arm. Yeah. Try and pick up the cable. We, we need some work doing. <laughs> oh, so close, so close. Down. Two hours later. <laughs> Another one in the, the viewing windows. Into the tank. Oh, the tiny stingrays. <laughs> Never seen stingrays. Before. Baby stingrays. Wow. <laughs> Complete. <laughs> Whoa. This feels weird. This may just be the most insane aquarium I've ever been to in my entire life. And we've only seen one and a quarter rooms. 
So we are officially under the sea, under the sea, an escalator down <laughs> <laughs> through, through the tank. Just want a tunnel. <laughs> yeah. Building. Yeah. It's like, yeah. It's like no expense spared. It's like every immersive thing they can think of, they've done. I love it in there as well. It's so good. <laughs> what in the world? Avengers Assemble. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is like a futuristic. We're in a ship. It is, yeah. We're in like a submarine, like a futuristic spaceship. Well, we started up there. Is that where it's just <laughs> yeah. Haven't even skimped. Haven't even skimped on the theming. You can hear the drips. It's a restaurant behind there and you got a nice bar and this thing so we come back out and this is like the, obviously the central space and then you've got the your little portals. Oh, endless ocean. Absolutely mind blowing. Micro ocean, got the dotted rides, and now tropical ocean as our next point of call. It's just, just a little bit better than sea life, only, only slightly, yeah. The shop, so we'll show you all the merchandise and stuff after. But okay, this is kind of opening out into a, a restaurant. But we've got flamingos in front of us. Yes, you heard me correctly flamingos. <laughs> right, so, in the tropical ocean bit, there's a dolphin show. And the dolphins are literally just swimming around before the show begins. You can just see the little tails going up in the water and little heads bobbing up now and again before the show begins. <laughs> wow. And our first show of SeaWorld, the dolphin show. Gotta be. Gotta be. Welcome to the splash zone.
<laughs> well, I didn't see that coming. Saw the coaster go around. <laughs> Into the polar ocean we go. I'm smelling fish. Does that mean there's penguins around? It's freezing in here. Ah, I'm three four years. Three four years. Just having a nice little ice bath. Yeah, yeah. Just chilling out in a big ice bath. Damn, dude. That's a big, big, big walrus. This is stunning. This, a Pacific walrus. He's got the whole tank to himself. He's a big boy, though. He is a big boy. Yeah. Into the, another submarine ship. <laughs> it's, it's endless. One thing that I've noticed straight away is how much room every animal has got. There is a lot, a lot of room for each individual creature. A lot of room. And it's cold as balls in here. As it should be. It's cold as balls. Theming, theming, <laughs> theming, and puffins. And this is the captain puffins you see with the blonde. Abu Dhabi Ocean and one ocean, which takes you back to the, the main hub again. And something else and into Antarctica we go. So you got a restaurant down there. There was a little area that was that was closed off, but you can very easily get lost in here. Got a little puffing portal there. Evening, this is <laughs> Today on Star Wars episode one. Wars. <laughs> wow. What were you just saying? It's well worth the money to go in. Yeah. <laughs> it's that big, you could stay in here all day and you'd still probably miss a few things. Yeah. Wow. And, and this. There's no need to put in this level of effort, but they have. It's gone that extra mile. Yeah. So obviously if you have the special band, you can interact with certain areas as you go around and certain tanks and things that light up as you go around as well. No, we still haven't done the roller coaster. To be fair, mate, we've seen it from the outside, but I ain't seen where to go from the inside. Hiding very, very well. We're on the ship. They actually work. Being in the captain's seat. I am the captain. 
I am the captain now. Throttle report, full steam ahead. Right, so as soon as I pulled that down, the speed dips down and as soon as I push it up, the speed goes up. Interactive. And every button activates something. It's very immersive, and we still haven't found the roller coaster. <laughs> Into Rocky Point, home to sea lions. think it was just literally saying might not be enough room there and then we come down and it's like yeah there's more than enough room <laughs> <laughs> oh, he's like who's this to stretch him further and further back. This is old tank. That's mad. Right, show number two. This is a big, it's like a coliseum. Right, turns out that the show's not on at that time. They were just letting people into the theater to look around. I don't know. Got my hopes up for nothing. Big tree, but what lies beneath? Oh. The rainforest is closed today. Yeah. So the rainforest is locked off, but we can still see some birds. Right. That's a ringing endorsement. It's just said that the general public have compared Manta, which is the new intermittent outdoor roller coaster here at SeaWorld, to flying aces. Hopefully, without the rattle, two completely different experiences but I'm excited now. <laughs> what is going on? Why is there so much a theming gem? <laughs> just got random arcades. Okay, now it's the time to play. <laughs> 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 you got a little Hi, you're right. <laughs> oh no I'm not very good at that. Not very good. <laughs> Whack-a-mole, even the whack-a-moles are themed. First sign for the roller coaster. There we go, Manta with the test seat there, the Intamin test seat. Let's jump on and uh, see what the fuss is all about. <laughs> roller coaster! Cue <laughs> line! Please secure all your loose items, including cameras and cell phones, in the storage box before riding. Loose items, including postage stamps in your pocket, are not, are not allowed on the ride. Oh, it's just a bit nuts, this, isn't it? And the station, there's the station right there. Pretty much a walk on. Yeah. There we go, the station for Manta. Awesome, 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 awesome. Just look at the train there. Speaking of trains, it's on more than one. You got the door, shutter door that comes down at the back to kind of keep it all private and secure. Life, it. I like it, I like it. Got, got to do the front row. We're just sitting on the third, like, what's going on here? Can we come out into the man to shop here you get your ride photos and you got all your, your sea world merchandise and yeah 
the ride begins as you turn the corner and you enter like a fish tank. And as soon as you enter the fish tank, you turn around. Jim's going straight on for another ride. <laughs> so that's okay. That's when you know uh, it's this way. Yeah. So it's got three launches, two inversions, one half inversion, and lots of airtime. Is it better than part one? No, it's not. Is it better than two tatters? No, it's not. Um, it's just a very cool and very long ride with theming. So at one point you're going around a corner like a bend and there's like a, a themed wave over the top of you so you're surfing through it. Lots of theming, going through coves and sort of all, all sorts of aquatic themed things. <laughs> and, then, and then yeah, yeah I enjoyed it man, it was good, it was always good. Um, there we that we're one of the first probably British people because there's only a lot of um, locals and Americans here. I haven't seen any Brits just yet, knowing that we're some of the first Brits in the world to ride it is a pretty awesome feeling. And when you when you shoot outside on the launch, you got like a little theme tunnel in and you shoot outside on the launch. Oh the heat is like oh but the speed you're going out the wind cools you down. Awesome. Awesome, love it. I think it's because of how good the attraction is. Like as a whole, it's even more hype for the ride. But back row for all those airtime moments. Oh. Airtime machine, baby. And they're running on two trains, so it's pretty much dead. Pretty much dead. Right, as far as the back row goes, airtime. Intimate airtime. But, but you like the front row a little bit better. Yeah. But I thought you felt the speed a bit better, especially on the launch. You did on the launch. On the back row. The fact it's taken us two and a half hours to find the roller coaster just gives you an idea of how big this place is. And basically, just behind there, that's where the coaster comes around. So you go through the fish tank and then the launch begins. Just to go for that, that's an exit. Man, I'm like, that's just a big building, isn't it? It's a big building. That's lovely, that. Food a little bit pricey here, I must I uh, must admit. Uh, £12 for a chili con carne, yes, £12. Uh, a little bit more for tacos. Never thought I'd say this in the same sentence chili and dolphins. We've got dolphins randomly flipping over there and chili. Nothing like hot food in the middle of the desert. Why not? Chili. And still, the best chili con carne in the world so far is the Rifleman pub in Stoke-on-Trent of all places still the best chili I've ever had <laughs> even in Mexico anyway we've got these guys playing the drums over there what a chill environment definitely feels like a soft opening rather than a grand opening I think with the some of the systems and everything all the shows obviously it's the first time properly showing it other than the press thing yesterday I think it's just easing everybody in a very impressive attraction very very impressive so not only does it look awesome they have like a, a little show they put on as well
Oh, do you? Those little drones. Oh, this is going to be a long video. Eighty quid. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You're definitely getting value for money. That's the maddest thing I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> I'm take a quick look at some merchandise. That's SeaWorld t-shirts, mugs and hoodies and picture frames and more SeaWorld mugs. Nice mugs too. What the price on them? 60 dirhams. About 13 pounds for a mug there. 250 dirhams for a thin hoodie. And the t-shirts. A 145. Talking about £20 a t shirt there. About £30 a hoodie, and then like UK prices. Key rings, lots and lots of key rings. He's, eight, he's 800 dirhams. Bruce over here. <laughs> It's 175 pounds. Wow. More interactive stuff. And lots of more merch. Scuba diving crew in. Then a little bit of cleaning and maintenance. <laughs> Everyone's so friendly. <laughs> they are, right? Yeah. No, that reminded me of yeah. us being underwater, too, waving at yeah. the people yeah. <laughs> behind the glass. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> right, 
and down underneath the sphere is the animal care center where you've got all different um, areas of marine life conservation microbiology diagnostics everything looks very clean and very very new <laughs> and very shiny lab. the reproductive lab I'm going that's, in there <laughs> that's where marine life get their freak on animal surgery center treatment center radiology No, no way. There's... Dolphin support area, a dedicated area of value in a space for observation and research. And there's this one floating around. <laughs> He's waving. <laughs> And after our last ride on Manta, we'll say goodbye to this very, very special atrium entrance area. Goodbye, goodbye. And we'll go outside, soak up some of that desert heat and bring you the review of see what I would dub. You got that as well, look at that. <laughs> That's mad. <laughs> Okay, so SeaWorld Abu Dhabi is officially the most detailed, immersive, and quite frankly, incredible <laughs> indoor attraction that I may have ever been to. And considering we're in Abu Dhabi, that's no mean feat. <laughs> well, it's for the money, yeah. experiences you're experiencing, the amount of stuff you can do. Yeah, shows. Well, uh, you've got the Dolphin Show, well, the Sea Lion Show, you've got uh, you know, the full immersive sets, yeah. you've got all the dining options, the Dolphin Show. Yeah. The roller coaster, the indoor roller coaster, the attractions for kids, the interactive stuff for kids, the fact that Aquatrek's coming in the future, and there's more to be added in the future, and more animals to be added in the future. It's a bit insane. The theming's just out of the world, theming, out of this world again. Theming is top yeah. class. I can't put too much into words because my mouth was just like, yeah. throughout the entire video, it was stunning. It's one of them things you can't even really describe no. how good it is. Even that roller coaster, it's impressive. It's very impressive. The heat definitely hits you when you come outside. It's fully immersive from top to toe. Uh, the animals look very well taken care of. There's massive tank space for them. They've got the marine life program, which links up to the ocean, which is literally just behind this building. I love it, man. SeaWorld, Abu Dhabi, my first ever SeaWorld as well. And probably the most immersive SeaWorld experience that I've seen from any other video in terms of theming and complete immersion. Other sea worlds, it's outdoors, you got the dotted shows and rides, this is the full package from start to finish. You could be in there all day, it's an all day attraction if you want to stay in there all day. With it being quieter, we managed to smash it out. That's all I'm gonna say. I'm gonna leave a big, long written review in the description box below. It's incredible, opening day, we're here, SeaWorld, Abu Dhabi, come and check it out if you're in the area. It's highly recommended. See, for SeaWorld fans, you're not gonna be disappointed. Mine's gonna be below. Yeah, uh, <laughs> hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Thank you for watching this much longer video. It's an opening day of a brand new theme park covered on lift, tails and trails. Let's go. We've been flying out here just for this, and I'll see you in the next one. Goodbye.